viceroys, viceroys of India, viceroys of British India. We already discussed governor generals of India. From Warren Hastings to Lord Canning, he was the last governor general and also he was the first viceroy of India. So when you discuss the governor generals and viceroys of India, this is very, very important to know that what were the major events which had taken place during their time? What were the major initiatives? The reforms, like uh, revenue reforms, judicial reforms, administrative reforms, or civil service reforms, education reforms, law and order reforms, which is undertaken by each of these viceroy. And what all the national events were happening during the trainer, or what was India's response to the reforms and their major contributions etc even the timeline the chronology based questions also being asked from this area so this is very potential area and this is very very important for your prelims examination viceroys of india viceroys of british india and the reforms from 1858 to 1947 till this achievement of india's independence okay so this concept is very very important for you Lord Canning, the first Viceroy of India. He was the last Governor General and he was the first Viceroy of India. Please try to understand what all the major events happened during his trainer. Okay, Lord Canning is the revolt of 1857. The 1857 revolt, it happened during his time. We already discussed the major causes of 1857 revolt. It's a nature, it's a character analysis, it's a uh, consequences or its uh, implementation or, or its implications all those things and its uh, Indian response all these things British response all these things we already covered now the 1857 revolt happened during his trainer parliamentary act of 1858 which we discussed King Victoria's proclamation and this act which uh, scrapped the British East India Company and uh, transferred the power from crown to Sorry, company to crown. Again, we have seen the policy changes like uh, subordinate isolation becoming subordinate union. Then there's a repeal of this doctrine of labs. Then we have seen major post, strategic post to recruited to, I mean recruited for these Europeans. Europeans only recruited in the strategic post in military or in this uh, like a uh, bureaucracy, etc. Again, further, we discussed a lot about that the Government of India Act 1858, Secretary of State, 15 member advisory council, and this uh, scrapping of Court of Directors, Board of Control, so many things we have seen there. Parliamentary Act of 1858, Woods Dispatch, Magna Carta of English Education in India, okay, which uh, proposed uh, female education, primary education, mass education, vernacular education, three tier structure of education, etc. Okay. Woods Dispatch 1854, then Universities of Calcutta, Bombay, Madras on European lines. Universities of this Calcutta, Bombay, Madras that came into being, that was also during the trainer of this uh, Lord Canning. Then this Indian Penal Code 1860s, we discussed that uh, the first uh, Law Commission and the Chairman of the Law Commission, Lord Macaulay, and this uh, uh, drafting, that uh, codification of the law and drafting of Indian Penal Code and that adopted in 1860s, Criminal Procedure Code 1861. These are some major events which happened during the trainer of this Lord Canning. Rest of things we already covered in our session where we discussed 1857 revolt and Lord Canning and his approach etc. Okay, so take care. This idea you must have because UPC will definitely ask the question the major events which happened during his trainer. Okay. Moving on to the next two Viceroy, which is Lord Elgin, 1862 to 1863, and uh, Ambala campaign, which is the northwest frontier campaign. This is between, I mean, that border area between this uh, Emirates, Afghanistan, and this uh, uh, British Punjab province, you know, northwest frontier. There, this, uh, uh, yes, uh, Pashtun tribes, Afghan tribes, they reacted against this British colonial rule that a campaign and this was a campaign against these Pashtun tribes of Afghanistan and this was Samphala campaign which was during the trainer of Lord Elgin. Okay, this idea has to be very clear to you. Wahhabi movement, we discussed reformist revivalist movements and this Wahhabi movement which happened, this is a revivalist movement. 
you should understand what were the reformist movements and what were the revivalist movements. So this was a revivalist movement, it happened during his trainer. And this is Lord John Lawrence, 1864 to 1869. Yes, war with Bhutan, which we discussed, okay, this British conquest of India, war with Bhutan, 1864. Then High Court such a Calcutta Madras, Bombay, that was in 1865, came into being during his trainer. And he adopted masterly inactive policy. This is important. Masterly inactive policy. This was already asked by UPSC. Okay. Attributed to Lord John Lawrence, the then Viceroy of India. Masterly inactive, inactivity policy is nothing but a watchful preparedness towards happenings to tackle the situation only when it would demand. So this is something, a precautionary measure. That's it. A precautionary measure, okay, masterly inactivity, inactivity policy, watchful, watchful preparedness towards happenings, okay, watchful preparedness towards happenings, that is to tackle the situation when the situation demands, or it is to tackle the situation when that demands, okay, a precautionary measure that was adopted by this uh, Sir John Lawrence, the then Viceroy of India, Lord Mayo, Lord Mayo, this is the next to Viceroy in line, 1869 to 1872. Yes, central and uh, provincial finances, uh, central provincial finances separated. Statistical survey of India that uh, came into being. The system state, system state railways that is during his time. Process of decentralization of finance or uh, financial devolution that uh, happened during his time. Rajkot College at Chikatiawar and Mayo College at Ajmer for politically training of these uh, Indian princes. So take it, these are some major events which actually this is in the process of learning this British India. You learn all these things but this Viceroy is in a chronological order. It will be very easy to understand what were the major events that happened during the Viceroyalty of each. So separation of central and provincial finances, statistical survey of India. System state railways, process of decentralization of finance or financial devolution, and this Rajkot College at Chikatiawar and Mayo College at Ajmer, which is for politically training Indian princes. So, relation of British India with the princely states, that's again important. Lord Northbrook and uh, next to Viceroy, 1872 to 1876, visit of Prince of Wales, it's happened during his time. Kuga movement, which is the Punjabi revolt, you know, Punjabi revolt against this. Uh, which is Namdari movement. Again, you see, this is also called the Namdari, which we already discussed here. So, this Kuga movement, which happened, it is against this British colonialism that is in Punjab, that was in 1872 during his trainer. Then, construction of Sound Canal, 1874, irrigational purpose. You take care. These are important for you. And this is Lord Lytton, take care. Lord Lytton, 1876 to 1876 to 1880s. Okay. So this revision is basically for understanding what all these viceroys, what all the major reforms or events happened during their trainer, that is important. That is important because such kind of questions UPC asked a lot, even still also they are asking. So take care. So Lord Lytton is known for his destructive programs. Lord Ripon is known for constructive programs. Lord Lytton is known for his destructive programs. And his destructive programs largely responsible for the rise and growth of Indian nationalism, Indian national movement. Royal Titles Act 1876, we have seen that the Queen Victoria was proclaimed as this Empress of British India. Then see Delhi Darbar, that is to celebrate that to coronation. Delhi Darbar, he is celebrated, conducted, which is simply looted the wealth of the nation. Imagine that when this Bengal, witnessing this severe famine, food shortage, lot of money he invested into this Darbar program. Great famines of 1876. It is artificial. This is not a natural calamity. It was an artificial calamity. Then again, you see Vernacular Press Act 1878. Vernacular Press Act, which is deliberately to put a ban on this uh, freedom of the press. Okay. So, whichever this uh, press that uh, or publisher editor criticized the British policies, yes, this is to tackle, this is to punish them, this is to ban the press, Vernacular Press Act. Then there is Indian Arms Act 1878. Mohammedan Anglo Oriental College established during his time. Then civil services reduced the age from 21 to 19, okay, an abolition of import tax that is to support this Manchester or this Lancashire textile lobbies. 
textile lobbies to conduct a free trade in India for which uh, the import taxes he abolished. Okay. So, Lord Lytton is mostly known for his destructive programs, destructive policies, which uh, largely invited the wrath of Indians against uh, this British colonial rule. Okay. Moving on to next to Viceroy, which is Lord Ripon. 